Welcome back, my friends, to another reaction video. I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not, I hope it gets better. This video is from Lion Crime Body Cam. Let's see what it's all about. Let's go. It's a late November night in Salem County, New Jersey, when a family's foundation is literally rocked by, get this, the son of a sheriff. County 548, I'm out with the vehicle. Hey, you okay? Yeah. He's he's going going 50 he's miles. Ooh. Is he still in there? Yeah, he's moving. Yeah. County 548, dispatch, EMS, and fire department. This vehicle is smoking. Here, let me get out. Let me get out. Yeah, sir. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, you were in a car accident. You all right? Really? What's up? You, you were in a car accident. Are you okay? Do you have any pain? What are you talking about? <laughs> no, not yet. Listen. Hey, relax. You were in a car accident. I'm off for hell. I work for the Pennsylvania Police Department. You were in a car accident. Are you okay? Are you feeling it? Are, are you are you feeling any pain? No. Okay. What are you talking about? You were in a car accident, sir. When? Right now. Well. You're looking at 32-year-old Charles Miller IV, the son of a South Jersey sheriff by the same name. Let's see what happens next. Put this down. Listen, don't move. Just relax, okay? Don't move too much. Just relax. 14, I'm coming in off. Good shield work. Just relax. You were in a car accident. Okay? You were in a car accident, sir. Right, right here. Are you in any pain? No. Brad, I'm coming from Do you want me to try to get him out, or he's not really answering any questions? He's confused and out of it. Uh, traffic control at 49 and Union. All right, just try to relax, okay? Just stay, stay put right there. Yeah, we go or what? Listen, 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 stop, stop. What, man? Don't move too much. I don't know I'm if you have any injuries. To get okay, all right, listen. Wow, he's so mad that things on his way that he's cousin of the police officer because he's trying to get that effing thing out the way. Uh, he doesn't realize he just wrecked into a building. I'm guessing, you know, that's where he's at. You know what? Tell me, let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. He's lucky he didn't run into some pedestrians with headphones or earbuds jamming music because that wouldn't be so well. And the reason I'm saying that is because when I go to the gym, I usually have my head, my earbuds, you know what I'm saying? And listen to music because, you know, of course, in the gym, I want to listen to my music. So, you know, give me to the pumping the iron and stuff like that. But when I'm in the street, I don't have them blasting in my ear. I have them really low so I can actually know what's going on around me until I get to, you know, gym. Then I turn up the music because I want to be aware in case a car's coming really fast. I can, if it's headed towards me, I can try to get out the way. Or if I hear sirens coming, then maybe there's an ambulance that's coming along or police are chasing somebody because that also happens here in Mexico. You know what I mean? Just like in the other country or city or town. So he's very lucky he didn't hit people, man. Because I'm um, not blaming the people who hear music, but if you're jamming out really bad, you can't. You don't hear a car skirt and hit you, you know what I'm saying? So he's very lucky. I hope he gets a lot of time, man, because he's so out. He don't even know what happened. And as a son of a sheriff, I'm sure the sheriff is not going to be very happy with him at all. You know, I'd be like, what? What the? What? Take him away. I don't want to see him. You know what I'm saying? Like, for reals, man. That's bad. <laughs> Just stop moving. No, he's not bad. Come back. All right, we're going we're gonna to move it. Just stop yeah. moving. Who oh, let me grab it? They broke him off. Well, it, yeah. Wondering. Listen, take your seatbelt off. Take your seatbelt off. 
Let's go. Did you catch that? Let's rewind. No. Let's go. Our day's driver kicks at an officer, causing things to, well, see for yourself. Yeah. Come on out. Come out. Step out of the car. Daddy, Come on. Advised, fire department, this truck's spooking. It's right up against the uh, building. Step out of the car. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Join Max, I'm free to kill somebody. You mean? How are you still going? How are you still going about? She's driving up the road. I don't see her on the post there. I'm trying to pull my face off. What are you doing? I'm trying to pull my face off. Yeah, I need to cut this. You're fucking joking. Yeah, I'm trying to pull my face off. You're fucking joking. What are you doing, dude? Shut the, the f*** up. Uh, Where's my key in my truck? Hey, hey, hey. Put your feet in. Put your feet in. Put your feet in. Put your feet in. You know what? I can't put my f***ing hands in here. God, how is he always a pain in the f***? I do a phone over. Um. Back at the house, a woman pokes her head out the window, indicating a sticky situation for residents inside. Yeah. Good. Yo. Again. So much scouting by the three. Let's get the car. Okay. Wow, I was talking about um pedestrians walking, you know what I'm saying? Uh I thought it was apartments, you guys. I don't know why I thought it was apartments, but it's a house. I would have sucked if he would have ran into an actual room, like like anybody's room. It could be a, a adult or a, a a kid or something like that. He would have deleted some people out, you guys. I've seen videos where the cars just lose control or drunk drivers run into like <laughs> businesses and stuff like that it just tear the place up and people are lucky they don't hit and stuff but a lot of people are like why are they grabbing him like that you know there's people that watch the videos are like why are they grabbing him like that he was just in an accident and stuff he don't know what's going on boy this guy don't know what is going on because he's <laughs> drunk and they gotta get him like that and get him out or handcuff him real quick because alcohol messes with your mind okay you think you're doing something you're doing something else like he kicked that police officer when the police officer was trying to get his seatbelt or something like that. Uh, he could like out of sight and decide to start swinging at the police officers because maybe his mind thinks like you didn't do nothing wrong. They're trying to take you out of your car. You don't know these people. They're not police officers. Defend yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of mentality. So yeah, they got to get him on handcuffs. You at least detain him real quick. You guys. Saying that, I've seen another video I can't show on this channel because of YouTube community guidelines and stuff like that. But there was a guy that was 
coming from fishing with his friends and stuff like that and he wasn't drinking but over going over a bridge he lost control and ended up slamming really hard on the tree and stuff like that and he was so dazed and out of it that um the police were trying to get him and stuff and because he didn't know what's going on because his he hit his head and stuff like that uh he pushed the police officer and all of a sudden all the police officers decided to like get him on the floor and taste him and beat him and stuff like that. like you know like uh uh when the man was not in his right mind because of the accident. Anyways, there was a lawsuit and stuff and he won a, a bit of it because he really got beat, you guys, and tased and all kinds of stuff. And they found out there was no alcohol in his system. Like those type of videos I can't react to because it goes against YouTube's community guidelines and I don't want them to change it later on in the future and I get a strike because of a, a video like that. But I'm just saying, there are situations where um, sometimes the police officers don't understand what's going on and they just react. You know what I mean? And uh, not the good ones, you know what I'm saying? Like the ones that are kind of like angry police officers. We see them. But there's a lot of videos out there like that. There's always bad apples in the basket. You know what I mean? But yeah, uh, let's see what they give this guy, bed. I wonder if his dad's going to show up. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Paramedics arrive to make sure Charles is okay. We got EMS to check you out, all right? Our confused culprit is cleared by paramedics before police take him to the station. Seriously, I hear you. Watch your legs. Well, I do not. Watch feet. Did you guys pull something off me? No. I didn't touch it. You got the pull off me. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, you're so perfect. Alright. Yeah, we'll just get this. You guys have his license and everything? I haven't grabbed it yet, but I think we know who it is. Okay, we're gonna watch it. Alright. Alright. Good man. Of course, right is later. I'm sure we'll see you guys at yep. the station. Right. What, what uh, ended up happening? Did you get a story from him? No. He fought us immediately and then we got him out, put him in cuffs, and he put him in cuffs. Was he in the truck when you guys got him? Yeah, he was like out of it. And I woke him up uh -huh. and then I asked him if he was hurt or had the feeling of pain. Mm -hmm. And he really couldn't say it. He was just mad at me for waking him up. Mm -hmm. And then uh, started freaking out. So I couldn't get any if he was hurt or not out of him. Just alcohol or you think drugs? Really? I don't know. Yeah. Huh. What's going on with him? He's good. Like, he doesn't say he has any pain or anything. They cleared him, so. Looks like Charles is okay. This Salem County street, however, not so much. Could you tell where he hit or how it happened? He went off with the freaking pole first spawn and hit the house. He hit the house. He had to be going so fast. He hit the house and moved the foundation. See where the siding is and moved the foundation. Yeah, any idea on how much rain, how much more rain is coming? Um, think back to the stage first. Car. So, yeah. But you got, he's got to go. You got to go first. Yeah. We're both gonna go back. Okay. And then he's gonna choose us from there, and then we'll run up the hospital while he's parked in the line. All right. Smell out there at all? No. Okay. He hasn't been uh, searched either. We haven't searched him, so. Yeah. Well, are you going back with him? Uh, yeah, he just told me to. Okay. Investigators claim Charles hit a utility pole at upwards of 60 miles per hour. The pole then broke in half before his truck slammed into the house. Let's now head to the police station with our suspect.
So what, what what's crazy to me is that uh that the man, the driver, said I didn't delete anybody. <laughs> he was lucky he didn't delete anybody because that could have actually happened. And that's kind of crazy. Um, whoever owns a house unless they're the homeowners, uh, yeah, they're gonna have to. Hopefully, they got insurance for the house or something like that. I don't know if it even covers it because yeah, you could see it move the foundation. Like the house looks a little off. Uh, and I don't know if this man right here is going to be able to have the money to pay up. You know what I'm saying? Unless the dad comes in and helps him out, which I, I don't think he would probably do. I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of hard to, to uh, kind of like deal with. Like, oh, so you decided to get whatever. I, I think they said he wasn't, they didn't smell alcohol. Did I hear that right? Or maybe I'm wrong. Uh, then he might be on something else that's messing with his body his brains he's under the influence of something really bad to do something like that because he was kind of like drooling a little bit you know what i'm saying it looked like make no sense but yeah that sucks for the people that live in that house if they're renting the house i guess they have to find another house to rent in and a lot of people rent for a very long time you know that man and they get used to being in that house because you know they like it and then they're forced to move somewhere else because like that. I don't think they're allowed to live in the house like that. If it moves the foundation, what if it does on Sunday? It just, you know what I'm saying? Some starts falling apart. Ooh. I you, man. Unexpected things happens with people that are doing things they ain't supposed to. Wow. Well, right? Well, Hey, can you give me your mom's here? It's in the truck. Oh, that's not in the truck. Oh, it's 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 in the truck. Police said three families were displaced because of the crash. Let's continue. I'm sorry, you want me to grab it? No, sorry, I'm sorry. Clean up. This my, my, get away, get away. Get caught, oh yeah. Sorry, dude. You can't, you can Where are you coming from, Charlie? What? Where are you coming from? Elmer. What? Elmer. Elmer? Yeah. Oh, Sorry. Charles Miller was booked for DUI and multiple drug possession charges after police what? said they found 36 bags of heroin, crack cocaine, and Xanax pills in his truck. Charles was processed for his criminal charges and called his mom, not his sheriff father, for a ride home. Wait, hold up. I kind of like that went out of my head. They, they said this charge, like, that's a lot of stuff he had, man. Like, they didn't say, like, but hold up. I'm confused, man. I don't want to read. You know what? <laughs> what? Spills in his truck. Charles was processed for his criminal charges and called his mom, not his sheriff father, for a ride home. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was thinking there. So then he was processed, charged with all that stuff. Call his mama. I would be ashamed, you guys. Oh my, I would. Imagine being the son or daughter of a police officer or sheriff. And then you get arrested for crashing into a person's house. You know, forcing them to live somewhere else because you wrecked that house. And then they find all that stuff in your truck because you, I guess you're like distributing. Maybe life, maybe you want to be like the bad apple in the family and be like, my mom and daddy are police officers. But you know what? I'm going to decide I want to distribute illegal substance, you know what I'm saying? And uh, make that fast money <laughs> because that's a lot of stuff you had out there. Uh yeah, I would be ashamed, man, to call my parents and be like, uh, yeah, you know, everybody looks up to you guys because you're upstanding citizens and 
you help the people when they need to help. You know, you put yourself in the line of fire when you need to. But yeah, I decided to do the other route where you're supposed to arrest me someday. <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh no, maybe I'm wrong for that, but it just don't make no sense, you guys. If my father was a police officer, my mother, I'd be like, I'm gonna grow up to be like my mom and daddy, because to me, they're like idols and stuff. Because I tell you, man, police officers, whoo, they're living day to day hoping somebody they don't someday they don't come up to the wrong car and get shot. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy, man. We see it in the news too. <laughs> But I don't know. What did you think about this young man? You know, going the, into the dark side from the light side of the father, you know, <laughs> like the Jedi in the, in the dark force, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Let me know down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for time. Hit the like button because it really helps this video and channel out. And because we hit the like button, YouTube will suggest this video and channel to other people who've never seen it before. And that's the best way to support the channel. I would really appreciate it too. If you want to watch another video, you can watch this one right here or this playlist. And I will see you next time. Bye.